Oh, brother, here we go with Tiara intervention. Tiara, in all seriously, you need this. You need this more than anything in the world. I'm sorry, I'm going to find you dead. Sorry, they're going to find you dead somewhere. You need this. You don't need the fresh. You don't need the auger. Just gone. We, you had some hesitation. You had some hiccups. You wanted certain people to leave. We finally met your mama after four, four seasons, and we finally met your mama. And you was worried about this intervention ruining your image. Um, You fighting over no good ass niggas. You fighting in general over petty, stupid stuff. You walk around sloppy drunk. You walk around pissy drunk. That ain't going to ruin your image, but an intervention will. Okay, I got you. Anyways, though, y'all, she agreed to go to the intervention. She ain't want to go to 90 days. She agreed to 30. She gone. She went. They picked up all her stuff. Ooh, excuse them. They picked up all her stuff. She went. Good job. Skip season five. Come back to a season six. Clean, healthy, and possibly with a new man. Better yet, don't come back with a man season six. Come back with just you. And possibly with you fighting and beating bitches' ass. Possibly Hazel E. Bird, Peacock head ass. I prefer that. But yeah, don't come back season five. Come back to a season six. Brooke now nah, almost went a whole 24 hours without without lights and cable. I'm happy my lights and cable back on after dealing with Hurricane Irma, well, Tropical Storm Irma. I'm just still in no mood to fuck with you and you trying to make this man jealous that you want him or you don't. Either way, I don't give a fuck. Brooke, go to hell. I am sick of you and your big ass forehead, your big ass forehead up here trying to make this man jealous. That's going to come back to bite you in your ass and I can't wait for it. That's all the time you're getting for me today. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, Lyrica Mama, A1 State Sauce Mama, they went back to the part where he told her, where Lyrica Mama said she, um, want to get plastic surgery, and she agreed, you know when they were talking about getting married or what not to have you, and he pulled out the waist trainer for her, cause he told the people her plastic surgery, she, uh, be happy for their wedding and whatnot. Well, anyways, though, they there, the mama's getting along, which is good. They got Alexis Sky. They got Zell. And some other characters there. Basically, long story short was, was Zell brought up a good point after bringing up Masika that why are we fighting Masika battles? Masika don't want to confront Alexis Sky, but we all in the midst of this. And basically, I've been screaming that since what? Episode 3, Episode 4. Masika had meant to stay ghost and away from Alexis all this time. The mention of her name, she'll go running away with her dirty feet. But yet, y'all hold right in her battles. And then you end up being friend with Alexis Sky and or being not for the Alexis Sky. She don't want to have nothing to do with you. You know what I tell a friend about friend with Masika and she talking with that stupid dumb shit. Oh, you friends with her. You can't be friends with me. That's the enemy. You must be mad at her because I'm mad at her. And I would tell a Masika to go to hell, go directly to hell. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars because I ain't playing that stupid childhood, that ch stupid child, that stupid high school child bullshit. Where if you mad at a person, I must be mad at a person. Just cause we hang around each other, we ain't talking about your tired ass. But I must be, I must be mad at some girl I don't know. All I know is you got a problem with her. You don't want to have a conversation with her. You don't want to, okay, you don't want to sit down with her. You don't want to have a conversation with her or whatnot. But I must be mad at her. And Zell was saying what was right. We all in the midst of this. It's Masika and Alexis Sky and all they friends. It's amazing how Masika and Alexis Sky haven't met yet, but all the friends jumping in, fighting and all that. And I'm glad somebody finally called that spade and finally agreed to that and all that.
thank God finally. Somebody finally caught on. My sick ain't none of y'all damn friends. She ain't y'all friends. She ain't gonna be y'all friends. She only using y'all the possibly use this Alexis Sky storyline as a storyline for what she can get paid. But in all seriously, Masika ain't trying to y'all damn friend. And the sooner y'all learn out, the better y'all be off. Um, Bridget Kelly. Yeah, I thought she was going to be an extra, but then again, no, I didn't. Because I seen her on the VH1, VH1 website, and her name was in there, so... Find out she got a boyfriend. They got relationship is issues. What else is new? Everybody on this goddamn show got relationship is issues. What, baby? 3% of the people on here actually got a relationship and actually going strong and actually married. Mother Kirk and Rashida. I ain't going to call them happily married. I call them annoying as fuck. That's what I call them. But anyways, though, to find out she played the song for him. He didn't like the song. He had his dog. Then he revealed on more of why him and this song won't get along is that Bridget Kelly is not so much innocent as she looked. Yeah, she didn't cheat it on him and now he feel insecure. Bridget Kelly, I thought you was something else, but then again, I'm just not knowing you now for what? One and a half scene, a piece of a scene? Now we know you are wholesome. Hmm. I, I got no words for you, and I don't even know you like that to judge you. So, whatever floats your boat, you go right on here. So, apparently, while we weren't paying attention or wasn't listening, Mr. Teletubby got a um a makeup line or something. I wasn't paying attention, and I really don't care. Anyways, so he got some makeup line, and he went up to a party. What nobody there to the event. Moni's come popping in or say, is I'm early? Is I'm late? What's going on? No, ain't nobody coming to that bald head ass event because don't nobody know Mr. Ray. The only reason we know Mr. Ray and we don't want to know him is because of Masika. Masika that brung on some bar her baggage onto us and throw it in our faces like we give a fuck. But apparently... He got an event that looked like it's going to be bald-headed and it's going to stay bald-headed, apparently. I ain't caught y'all up to the part where my computer turned off at now. Now let's get through live viewing it now and get through with this episode. Well, Moniece, if you want your friend Hope Seeker to show up to y'all event and not be ghosts while y'all including the um, Alexis guy, well, you better grab her by her extensions and drag her there literally to y'all event. I didn't told y'all Masika ain't none of y'all damn friends. The sooner y'all learn that, the better off y'all are being. She ain't showing to none of y'all events, but y'all call her friends and y'all wife and all that. Don't y'all feel like dumb asses. So, and then Mr. Mr. Ray, little advent, or whatever the fuck he want to call this, they hear somebody singing, they go next door, um, Lyrica singing, and, um, they walk in there, and they're surprised, and let me continue to watch and see what's going on. Now, Mr. Ray... I got a question for you, and I want your fat lips to answer it. Now, how many times you in sailed and almost got into it, how many have you ran or ran behind somebody? Okay, then, well, what made you thought you putting off your big-ass shoe trying to throw it at Zell going to get you? Besides, I know that you running behind somebody or you running trying to avoid Zell, the hurricane. Now, and them clothes look mighty tight on your big ass. I don't know if you can run or whatnot, but you better bust out on them and get to running if that shoe would've hit Zell. You better stop playing with fire. He didn't told you you didn't call him a tiger or whatever you called him, whatever animal he was. Don't let him show you he really that animal on your ass. You better sit down while you got a chance, right? He gonna make you lose two pounds running away from him. Um, now they sitting there having a civil conversation, and now they seeing that they all going around in this little hurricane called Masika and Alexis. Basically, they are telling them, we all in this, and why are we all in this, and Lyrica didn't say this, and Lyrica didn't say this, and Masika is not y'all damn friend. 
please get it through y'all fit skulls. Y'all need to go meet Alexis. I mean, not Alexis. Y'all need to go meet Masika and sit down and have a conversation with her and tell her, look, you bring your little issue to our friendship. Either you scraping this up or we can't be friends. Give her a friendship, um, give her a friendship, um, whatever. Tell her ass, since you bringing scripts to my life, then I want to, you going to take all this hell from me that I'm getting and you get none. That's what I'd do for Masika if I had a fake friend like her. Now, see, to find out all y'all can get along and y'all can have a civil conversation. Once y'all get the talking heads and who say who say out your body, everybody can talk and have a civil conversation and they actually all apologize to each other. Y'all got to learn that quick and in a hurry. Don't follow behind a friend because a friend said this and because that's my friend. I can't be her friend. Y'all better stop acting like y'all high school all over again and grow the fuck up real quick. So basically, we the Ray J and we seeing how corny he really is. 36 years old, 37 years old, high up the hill he is. And he coming up with corny ass music videos. I'm glad that boy told him, you showing your ass. Are you a child or are you a grown-ass man pushing forward? Which one is it? So he agreed, Princess called him. He left, left the video and shooting somebody else's hand. Thank the fuck God, because if I would have seen that music video and... Mm -mm. Ray, you need to grow up and you need to grow the hell up quick if you thought that was a good music video. And that shit you had that girl doing, I would have punched you in the face if that was my girl. I'm just serious. I'm 100% real with you. Here we go with Brookcast again. And here we go with Booby. I'm not entertaining this neither. Yeah, Masika, whatever you was doing before music, please take your tired ass back and go do it again. I'm not feeling this song. I'm not feeling this wig. I'm not feeling you playing in this wig in your ass. Please sit your ass down and go mow the clothes or whatever the fuck you was. Go find another rapper to have a baby with. Anything besides getting in the studio talking about a song, I'm not feeling it. Mm -mm. That sound like something that should be an adult fairy tale movie. It sound a mess and look like your face kind of. Ooh, ooh, this is where they meet up with Masika. Ooh, that, ooh, that extended scene I seen on, ooh, this would be good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. She finally got close to Hoseika. I'm kind of ready for this scene. I, I done seen that extended clip of it last week. I want to see this full close up and personal. Why? One Masika. Now I done told you about calling anybody a hoe and you making hoes famous now. Girl. Fetty what made you famous and we going to be real and honest here. Girl, ain't nobody never heard of Masika Kalisha. And to a feather while this show ass on the internet because he called you a hoe and everything else under the umbrella. Let's be honest and let's be real here. Feather what made you who you was thanks to TMZ and them tweets, him calling you every name in the book because you was pregnant by him and he was denying the baby, found out it was his baby. Now you think you done got your little tension with your fame because you getting a cut of his money. Now you think you making Alexis Sky famous by having her on this show. Girl, I'm not even going to entertain you in your lives. And please stop for the life of you. Stop calling people hoes. Because according to Fetty Wap, honey, we can call you more than a hoe. And I'm not going to be that rude and disrespectful. I'm going to let Fetty Wap from however long ago that was continue to call you there, and I'm going to let that sink in my head and think about it. I'm not going to say it out loud. Even though I want to say it out loud, I don't want to say it out loud. Nazia, we know how bad you want um, tell a tubby brother. However, if you want to go out to somebody, please make sure the coast is clear. And if you're going to run out to somebody or charge out to somebody, Make sure it ain't no woman. 
If it's going to be a man, knock down a man. We'll prefer that. But don't knock down no woman. You then not Monique so her ass with her ass, with, uh, knocked on her face with her ass in the air. You about to knock poor Nirikula thimble looking ass down. This is crazier than I thought it was going to be. Too bad it didn't actually, it, it, too bad ain't nobody actually hit somebody. Then they actually hit each other. Anyways, though, y'all, we got Masika outside thinking she that bitch. Talking about get the cameras out of her face again, acting all bougie and whatnot. Uh, let's this guy, you always want to meet um, Masika and possibly beat her ass. It's amazing how you didn't run up on Masika and try to fight her. However, I did hear that you got your ass whipped by Masika, and I wouldn't be surprised. Hey, is a you too? You talking all that shit? I heard she snatched your wig off too, and I heard you snatched her wig off too. Y'all, these snatches of the wig off according to the internet already. So maybe y'all ain't got it all out. Maybe y'all have it. Maybe the reunion y'all will fight again. I don't know. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all morning. Bye.